What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode number four of the Pure Iron Man series. So we are starting things off by doing the Skippy and the Mulgars mini quest because we want to unlock the flippers. I just like them because they're so cool. Um, we won't be able to get climbing boots on this account because obviously that gives attack XP and we're going for just the 20 attack build. And to do that we're going to be doing Fairy Tail Part 1 which gives attack XP and Underground Pass which also gives attack XP which will take us up to 20 so we can do Zora and so we can have fa Fairy Rings just so we can move around. But that'll be at a later date you'll see in the background now we are doing the moss giant boss we managed to get a couple of keys in the last episode doing some willy slayer followed by some crazy archaeologist you see i actually get the odium shard drop i'm looking for the rune crossbow but i didn't actually get it in this little run i was just doing it every so often because it was a bit annoying also trained up some agility managed to get the graceful hood gloves boots and the cape i managed to get ourselves 57 agility so far but this was quite an important grind you see a couple of days later we come back and I am 62 agility. I was doing a lot of agility pyramid. You see I've got over a mil in cash so it was time to finally go and get our cannon. But first we had to complete the quest. The dwarf cannon easy as hell takes like five minutes. And then we can finally start thinking about killing some lizardman shamans to try and get the dragon warhammer drop. You see me purchase the cannon there for 750k I think it was. Which is really nice because that is pretty much all of our uh, stuff completed. We only had to go and do the knight's sword because you need 35 smithing to make some cannonballs, which is nice. And that's also a very, very easy quest. You see us straight away managed to get 12,000 smithing XP, which is lovely. Up next, we decided to go and start the giant dwarf quest so we can use the blast furnace. I completely forgot about the blast furnace. I was actually starting to make cannonballs in the normal edgeville furnace which i got told by the clan chat that it was a lot slower so decided to pick up some ores started collecting some obviously we'll be needing coal and iron as you can see i actually bought double the coal because i completely forgot about the blast furnace like i said but in, we do actually only make a few steel bars and i did realize so it's not the end of the world it's still a steel bar at the end of the day still be used for cannonballs it's just a little bit more expensive there's the 35 smith and unlock we had to use a couple of steel bars just to finish off the level didn't take too long at all really and then that's it we finally have the requirements for the cannonballs to be made so we're going to be looking at making as many of these as possible we're probably going to need like fifty thousand, but it's a nice start we got the graceful to help get some stamina back whilst we are doing it as well nice afk grind um i will be making a couple as we just carry on i won't be making a massive bunch i just tend to um do a couple and then use them and then come back Completed our first clue scrolls on the account. We had an easy beginner and a medium clue. Got a steel file hound from the first one. Absolutely game changing for the account. Easy one was also managed to be done. A few alcohol items, nothing really very exciting. And then for the medium clue, we actually did manage to finish that one as well. And we got a nice blue boater, which is actually pretty cool. So it looks a bit better than the usual helmets that I've got in the game. So it's nice to collect some of those. Probably end up doing a lot of clue scrolls anyway because it's good for um ranger boots and stuff like that completed druidic ritual after because i wanted to start some herb lore because i have a few herbs in the bank from winter tot still and i'm thinking about getting the dig site quest done pretty soon so i can get onto fossil island and do bird, bird houses and stuff like that um yeah that's the free herb lore complete from druidic ritual and then just to kind of finalize things i've killed some unicorns to make some anti anti poisons because if you go shaman sometimes you get poisoned and it's just a lot easier done a few more crazy archaeologist kills and still no room crossbow unfortunately but we'll get there eventually picked up the event rpg um if you don't know that's actually one of the best weapons you can use when you're at one attack or 20 attack because it attacks faster than um anything else and yeah back to some wildy slayer really nothing really too exciting you will see what is coming though we have completed the 55 Slayer grind, which is like absolutely crazy for an Obby Mauler. It means I can use the Slayer Staff, which is the best training weapon for strength. Especially when you're killing uh, Ammonite Crabs or Rock Crabs or Sand Crabs. So that is an absolutely big milestone for the account. We can, you see us here, pick up the Slayer Staff and that is going to round off the end of the episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Um, I'll see you very, very soon in the next episode, hopefully, where we might have a Dragon Warhammer. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.